Well, I was just uh, on the on the Holland start. It seemed like the, when he had the one inning where things got could have gotten to him, he was able to put that right beside him and get right back on it. And yeah, I don't think you would expect him to stand out there and. You know, I think everything would have to go your way to have a shutout. But, uh, you know, the second and third, he had one, two, three innings. Uh, the fifth, sixth, and seventh, uh, he blazed through it. And, um, you know, he did a good job. He maintained his composure and um, didn't get out of control. Missed his spot a couple times. But, uh, you know, when you throw 114 pitches or whatever you threw, uh, you will miss some. Is the maturity different for him, Ross? Because... In the past, it's like if you have one inning like that where things got a little out of whack and they score a couple of runs, it gets tend to carry over, and it doesn't seem like that's the case for him a whole lot anymore. Well, he's getting better. Still got a long ways to go, but he's getting better, and uh, that is a sign of maturity. Let's talk about uh, Craig Gentry and just him making the most of his opportunities in qualifying. Well, he's doing a great job. He's finally loosening up, and he's finding an understanding that he has some talents to offer. And... Um, I'm happy for him. Uh, he's making contact. He's putting the ball in play. Uh, he's finally loosening up on the base pads, showing what he's capable of doing. And the talents he has, uh, we certainly can use. And um, I told him I'm going to give him the lefties, and I'm going to give him the lefties. He's doing a good job. And then, Marcus, I guess, how important after a rough road trip to come home and then after three innings you're up seven and up and that kind of can loosen things up and put guys back to ease a little bit, I guess. Well, you know, Michael got us to double <clears throat> to put us some runs on the board and then Beltre came up and drove in a run. Next thing you know, he was up 3 nothing. He was able to relax a little bit and we did a good job uh, against Hap, not chasing uh, too many of his off-speed pitches. Uh, we was very patient up there and when we got pitches to hit, we didn't try to do too much with it. And was able to put some runs on the board and make it stand up. Other than the one, you didn't have the big knocks like you'll usually have on offense. Uh, what does it show when top to bottom your lineup is the way it is and Nick Lynn kind of runs out? <laughs> well, that's what you have to do on some days. Um, you know, I think it's it's obvious that everyone know that we're capable of hitting the ball out the ballpark, <clears throat> so they pitch us a little tougher. And um, when we can string hits together like that, I think we're a better ball club. And um, tonight, uh, we certainly did that. Yeah, you know, Marlon take things hard. And um, the last four games, he's been struggling. So it was nice for him to finally get through one and hope that relax him and he can get back to swinging the bat. When you see stuff like that, is it tougher to keep him on the bench? No. When it's time for me to put him on the bench, I'll put him on the bench. No. Um, you know, he's going to be here for a while. It's a long season. And, um, you know, he's getting his at-bats, and it's just periods when I feel like I need to give him a break.